Hi and welcome to the short video on a couple new features we've added in WingX Pro 7. Uh, firstly, I just want to obvious disclaimer, uh, don't use any handheld uh, hardware or software for primary use and also the features that you are about to see require a current georeferencing subscription within WingX. Okay, let's dive in and take a look, it's pretty exciting. Uh, firstly, I just want you to notice that I have a sectional up and we've displayed surface winds. If you tap on the button, the weather button up there, you'll notice it gives you a whole bunch of options. I've chosen to display surface winds. This is new weather data from uh, Baron Services. We're very excited to add that. And it just gives you a whole new uh, capability. You know, looking at, for example, a Bay Area, we can look at these arrows at Wing X draws, which are really, really nice to show you direction. Um, and there's 11 knots up there, all the, all the rest are less than 10. But with the Baron Services weather, we can actually just see all the light green. We have a transparency on there, so you can still see the sectional underneath. But this just tells us that the, uh, the, the winds around the Bay Area are pretty light today. So that's nice. Uh, but let's go and display our chart. So this is now um, our approach chart into San Francisco. You'll notice that it's, it's drawn the route in there because we're going from uh, down in the LA area into San Francisco and you can turn that route on and off. So that's the one new feature that we've added. Now what you can do using Chart Touch, for example, is let's tap on Menlo Intersection and add that to the route. And you'll notice that not only um, on the sectional, but also on the Instrument Approach Chart, WingX is automatically updating the route. We can tap on this intersection, select it, say add it to the route, and you'll notice there's the little dog leg and there's the little dog leg there. And so now you can actually see your route as a nice magenta line on the instrument approach chart. What you will notice is that the route will actually go into the appropriate runway. So here we, we're flying into 28 left and it'll actually take you right into 28 left. If, for example, let's say we're flying into Dallas, Fort Worth, there, it's a big, big airport. And so there's a huge difference between flying to the center of the airport than flying into a specific uh, runway. And so this is extremely important in terms of getting that magenta line correct. And so WingX does it correctly. That's the good news that it'll take you to the end point, essentially the approach end of that specific runway. So you can be confident that uh, you're not following a, a line to the center of the airport, but to the approach end of the appropriate runway, which is in our case, 28 left. This uses chart touch, and again, you will need a current georeferencing subscription. So the chart touch will allow you to pop up any intersection, and then it'll draw the magenta line. The other feature that we have is trail. Turn it on, and you'll notice the trail. Great for situational awareness. So uh, that stores about 10 minutes of your breadcrumb trail. Hope you like it. 